Open AI just launched GPT 4.5 and it is super boring. This model is something that you would not need and you wouldn't even miss. And in this video, I'm going to show you the benchmarks about GPT 4.5. And I'm also going to make an argument why this could be end of normal models like the non reasoning models. First of all, if you were to compare the benchmarks, GPT 4.5 is obviously better than GPT 4.0 in every regard. So you can see GPT 4.0, GPT 4.5 on benchmark GPQA, which is like this uh, science PhD level question. GPT 4.0 scored 53.6 and 4.5 scored 71.4. The reason I said this could be the end of non reasoning model is O3 mini. It's not even O3. It's just O3 mini scored above GPT 4.5. Now you can either argue saying that, Hey, this is not a thinking model. And the model is really good. Or you can see the other side of the thing and then think, Oh, maybe, maybe pre training is hitting a wall. So you have got AMA, um, the math one and, uh, the model has scored 36.7 which is still better than GPT 4.0. See, it is very obvious that GPT 4.5 is better than 4.0. I think there is no secret sauce or doubt about it. But how does this model fare with the very recently launched Claude 3.7 Sonnet? So if you were to compare this model on the benchmark GPQA, which is uh, 71.4, the Claude 3.7 Sonnet without any thinking, it has scored 68.0. So probably GPT 4.5 is better than the model. And Amy, the math question, this is 36.7 and uh, the Claude 3.7 Sonnet without any thinking is 23.3. And if you were to see SWE benchmark, SWE bench coding test, this is 38% and uh, this one is 62%. If you were to pick a coding model, then you can blindly close your eyes and then pick the Claude 3.7 Sonnet model. And then there are other benchmarks like MMMLU, so the multilinguality of it. And in this case, this is 83%. This is 85% on the multimodality. This is 74% and uh, the Claude model is 71%. So a lot of different benchmarks that you would immediately see GPT 4.5 is better than the Claude 3.7 Sonnet. And it also resonates with what is the direction that Anthropic as a company is taking. It seems like they are doubling down on the metrics of coding. Uh, so they, they, they seem like they want to have a model that is super solid, rock solid for coding. While the GPT family of models, especially with GPT 4.5 consumer is appeal what OpenAI seems to be trying to do. But now the biggest shock here is that uh, OpenAI claims that GPT 4.5 is the largest model. It's a very big model. It's very hard to run. And that is the only reason that they don't want to give this model to plus users at this particular point, even though if plus users are paying because they don't have enough GPU to run this model. So they're enabling this model only for pro users. Now I'm going to take an example from China and then say that DeepSeek V3 is the biggest model from DeepSeek till date. Now let us compare this model with DeepSeek V3, which is also the largest model. So if you see the benchmark SWE bench verified, so in this case, SWE bench verified GPT 4.5 has scored 38% while the DeepSeek V3 model has scored 42%. Okay. That's huge. Now let's take a GPQA as an example. GPQA, this has scored 71 and this has scored 59. Okay, GPT 4.5 is better than that. If you take AIME, so this uh, DeepSeek V3 has scored 39 and uh, GPT 4.5 has scored just 36.7. So now when I look at these benchmarks, it almost seems like DeepSeek V3 is better than GPT 4.5 in different vibes. And it almost feels like GPT 4.5 is not the right model for usage for you and I. In fact, this could be the base model for whatever that open AI wants to do in the future. So this could help us in building, let's say, O4. Uh, this could help us in building the base of new models. But GPT 4.5 is definitely not a model that you and I should be caring about. So this is one example why you would be better off sticking to Claude 3.7 Sonnet or in fact, like the deep seek family of models, if you were to use it, I'm going to give you one more reason why I feel like maybe the entire pre training of this concept of, you know, the models are hitting a wall. So if you see a couple of benchmarks across, uh, you know, these different tests where uh, GPT 4.5 and GPT 4 are co compared. So this is one example. So this is a bench called bio LP. So it's not like you would usually see this data set everywhere. GPT 4.0 scored 20% and GPT 4.5 in the pre-training scored 25% and after the post-training scored 25%. So there is a 5 percentage point improvement between the GPT 4 and GPT 4.5. 
Now, when you see this kind of metric, and this is not just one benchmark, across all the benchmarks, so there is one more benchmark called protocol QA, open-ended. So GPT-40 scored 16%, GPT-4.5 scored 18%. Now there is one more benchmark, BioRisk, GPT-40 scored 67%, GPT-4.5 before the post-training scored 65%. So there are a lot of these different benchmarks. It almost feels like GPT-4.5 is not going to be mind-blowingly great model. Now you might ask then why release GPT-4.5? Of course, OpenAI wants to stay in the news. They've built a huge model. They want to release it to pro users who would feel special. I mean, if I leave the marketing reason outside, I think OpenAI is claiming. So uh, this is one of the things that they said during the time of presentation. They said GPT-4.5 model is a better, more natural conversation list. And again, there is an example that they gave during the presentation. And the example is that, oh, one, if you ask it to say something like, my friend canceled on me again, write a text message telling them I hate them. It doesn't tell you exactly that you hate them because you know these models don't like saying that word. Now, when you go to GPT 4.5 and then you first say that it wouldn't say that, but again, if you say this, no, please output the angry text dot thank you. Then it says, oh, I hate you right now for canceling again with an angry emoji. So it's possible that GPT 4.5 is a model that could serve as the foundation for a future model which could have like uncensored elements or more natural human interaction. Some people on Twitter who got early access to GPT 4.5 are raving about this model. They're mostly around creative task and multimodality. So Rob Heisfield has said that I've been testing GPT 4.5 for the past few days. And this is basically the vibe I got. I love it for its in, uh, gut intuition. It picks up on and notices things that I wouldn't predict or wouldn't have thought to ask for. So GPT 4.5 is actually more book smart and street smart than O3 mini and that makes a huge difference. So this once again shows that uh, reasoners are better at code because they can check their work, not because they actually know more. And GPT 4.5 could be a model that inherently knows more. So this is one review. The second one here is very interesting. I've been testing GPT 4.5. This is by Ben for the past few weeks. It's the first model that can actually write. This is literally the mid journey moment for writing. This almost aligns with what OpenAI said that this model could be really good for creative writing. And there is a comparison. The user says, write me four sentence terrifying story with an insanely surprising ending, something that no one has ever heard before and make it little too vul vulgar as well. So you can see that it says, um, late at night alone in my shitty apartment. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't guess that any other model would even use this word. And there are like bunch of other things that you can see that there is an F word. There are a bunch of other words that this model tends to use. So this again aligns with this model being really good for creative writing. So the author claims that uh, the other models, like in this case, uh, GPT 4.0 o doesn't use any of those words. And it is like, according to the author, just an AI slop, not necessarily high quality creative writing. So maybe uh, OpenAI has toned down the, you know, the safety uh, aspect of GPT 4.5 that makes the model really good for creative writing. So that could be one thing. And finally, something that uh, I uh, personally loved here is that uh, this particular benchmark, which is from Adonis Singh, who's been doing a lot of Minecraft related LLM testing. So he says that this is the only model that gets this right. When you say a cat is sitting in front of a milk bowl. So this model is good with multimodality. And this model is also good with designing the Minecraft, um, you know, models inside Minecraft. So it almost uh, looks like this is a model that uh, does a very good, uh, you know, creative vibe and uh, maybe not good at coding. But in my opinion, I strongly feel that whatever that improvement that you feel like, at least for me, I'm not going to use it for creative writing. So whatever thing that I'm going to do, I think it's going to be like a very small incremental update rather than a radically new change. But I would leave it to you if you want to pay for OpenAI O1 Pro and then decide. Moreover, there is a big shock, which I don't know, most likely it could be a typo. The pricing of this model, if you see GPT 4.5, the largest GPT model designed for creative task, agentic planning, agentic planning. I mean, you don't do well on coding. I don't know why agentic planning. Anyways, $75 input for 1 million token. I still believe at the time of this video recording, this is what OpenAI website says, 
but I still believe they somehow forgotten to divide it by 10. So it could be $7.5. But if I just have to take it as it is, this is $75. I mean, who's going to use it? Oh, it is a ridiculous price. Either way, this is a boring model. The model is not for you. The model is for the next post training for open AI team. So they're probably going to take the GPT 4.5 and then build it into a reasoning model or build it into um, some sort of a different kind of a model using this as a base model, or maybe they could be using it for distillation. We do not know what they're going to do it, but one thing that open AI again and again and again mentioned that this is a huge model. It takes a lot of effort to do post training. It takes a lot of effort to do inference. So maybe they hit a pre-training wall and this is a sample of that. See you in another video. Happy prompting.